I'm going to show you how you can figure out all your stair angles with an iPhone. Normally what I do in order to get the angle marked correctly is I just lay the railing on the stairs. So it's laying on the rake of the stairs and then I just use a pencil to trace where it meets the newel post. But as you can see, it would be very difficult for me to get a pencil in here. So basically what I'm going to use is the calculator to determine the angle and then I'm going to try the cut and then adjust it from there. Quite simply, every set of stairs is a right angle triangle. This means that all you need to know is the rise and run of your stairs, plug those numbers into a calculator, and it will spit out the angle of your stair railing, balusters, fillets, and even your trim. But because most people don't walk around with a calculator, I will just show you how to use the one on your iPhone to come up with that angle. First, pull up the calculator app and turn your iPhone to landscape mode. Then check to make sure the button on the lower left corner reads RAD. If it reads DEG, then you want to touch it once so it goes back to RAD. Then go up three rows to where it says second. Push that button and it will highlight. Then you're going to input the measurement of your riser, which in our sample is 7.5 and divide that by the tread minus the nosing, which in our case is 9.5, and it will equal that amount. Then you go over to where it says tangent minus one, press that button, 38.29 degrees is the answer. This is the angle that you would cut the stair railing so it will fit nicely onto the newel post. You may have to fine tune that angle because sometimes the riser heights will vary from one to another. But once you have that angle set on your saw, your balusters and fillets will all be cut at that same angle. Most residential stairs are between 36 and 40 degrees, with 38 degrees being the most common. That's why I've chosen that angle for my example. If you do these calculations and come up with a number that is much higher, like 60 some odd degrees, check your calculator settings to make sure they're right. Let's do a quick review on the calculator process. Turn the iPhone to landscape mode, make sure RAD is on the lower left corner, make sure second is highlighted, then enter the riser height, divide that by the tread width less the nosing, press tangent minus one and you'll get your stair angle. Now we'll practice that calculation using a couple of typical tread and riser uh, combinations and see what kind of angle we come up with. Just a reminder to subscribe if you like this video and want more tricks of the trade. So what we've determined with the calculator is that the angle of the stairs as you're looking up the stairs or going up the stairs is 38 degrees. Now, if you can imagine that these are newel posts, one at the top and one at the bottom of the stairs, and the railing is cut so it goes between these two newel posts, like so, then this angle is 38 degrees, and so is this angle. Now, once you cut your balusters that go between the stringer and the railing, these also will be 38 degrees. Now, to carry this a little further, we've determined that this is 38 degrees angle of our stairs. We know that a right angle triangle always has a 90 degree corner here. This is quite simply 90 minus 38 equals 52. So this top angle is 52. Now when you go to trim out the top of the stair stringer, whether it be with molding or a stringer cap, and because you're going to go around this corner with your, your cap, this angle here is 52 degrees, 
and that's because this angle here is 38. Subsequently, these two pieces of trim will be 26 degrees each. At the top of the stairs, we are at 38 degrees, and subsequently, these pieces of trim will be 19 each. And I hope that uh, makes some sense to you, um, but if you actually do it in practice, you'll find out that uh, it's bang on. All right, so I hope you found that video helpful. Just to go over the main points, every set of stairs is a right angle triangle. Once you figure out the stair angle with a calculator, then you know that that angle will work for your railing, your balusters, your fillets, and then by using the numbers that we plugged into the right angle triangle, then you can cut your trim at the appropriate angle. If you have any questions on this video, leave them in the comments section and I will be sure and answer them. Thanks for watching. I hope that was simple enough. There are other ways to figure out your stair angles, but I've chosen the simplest one to avoid mass confusion. Well, I bet you're wishing you would have paid more attention in high school math. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share with your friends, help grow the channel. Thanks for watching. You gotta focus on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah.